Good morning world from Japan, if you can believe it. Me and Joe have just been sitting here looking at this scene, thinking we were back in Portugal. But we are not, we are in Japan and we are about an hour, just over an hour outside of Kyoto city. And this is what it looks like. The camper van is parked just here and we're just having a little bit of breakfast this morning. We're actually at, at something called a Michi no Eki. Do you want to explain what a Michi no Eki is? It's like a roadside station. I think the most similar thing would be like service stations that we have in the UK. But these are more local to each prefecture. So they sell local goods here and they promote their economy. I was actually on my way into the little store this morning because they had some vending machines outside and I was gonna get up and get Jay and I our morning coffee from the vending machine and a hot tea for story. And as I was walking towards the store, there's like a pop-up speciality coffee stand there. So, yeah, that was nice. ta-da, we got speciality coffees this morning. Mine is an Ethiopian, I guess, sour bean. <laughs> a light bean, I think he said it was. And I got Jay a dark roast blend. And they taste completely different. But yeah, we've got Ethiopian coffee beans this morning in Japan. So this is the map here. This is where we are, the blue dot. So we're about an hour from Osaka and an hour from Kyoto. And today we're driving all the way over here. <laughs> and then so all the way over there. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long driving day. Yeah. So we're just eating her peanut butter toast to fuel up for the morning. So we thought it'd be interesting to start the vlog here because we had a couple of comments from some pictures and updates that we've been putting up on our Patreon page and a couple of people were surprised to see Japan looking like this. When they think of Japan they just think of really crowded spaces and lots of buildings and you know more city vibes and we have gone the complete opposite on this trip. We've gone rural, we've got natural, <laughs> we wanted to see the the natural side of Japan and be out in nature and see the animals and things like that and honestly we were surprised as well at how European in a way things look here I mean look at that scene behind you we could be sitting in our old town in Portugal yeah it does look exactly like Portugal <laughs> so today we will show you a bit of our drive because it is going to be a bit of a long drive today we are going to stop along the way at coin laundry and a shower stop and you know lunch stop convenience stores so we're going to show you that kind of thing <coughs> of Japan bless you story <laughs> sneezing in the background and you can come with us on our journey to our next stop today something that surprised us is the weather <laughs> we are hot I know and we, we thought and we kind of hoped that it was going to be cool and cold and it has been in parts but right now I am hot sitting yeah. here and it's only about nine in the morning I've got a jumper on in the um, night time it's cool and yeah. cold I would say yeah, it gets I think the coldest it has been is nine, nine degrees when we were at Mount Fuji and that was quite cold um, but generally, nighttime temperatures have been about 12 degrees, and then today it's meant to be a high of 25. So we didn't pack any kind of summery clothes. Story's got a couple of dresses that she can wear leggings with and things, but me and Jay just jumpering it up. <laughs> we bought coats and we haven't needed them, which is nice, but we did actually want that kind of cool, crisp autumn feel. I'll show you inside the Michinoeki. This is the pop up coffee stand. Very nice. <laughs> Story thinks this looks like a poo drop, but it is supposed to be a chestnut. You think it's a sad chestnut because it's going to get eaten? <laughs> <laughs> chocolate drop. I thought I just said poo drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. This looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, we're about to head off. If anybody's curious about brushing teeth, washing face, like where your waist goes in a van, I don't know if you'd be interested in that. It's just a curiosity thing. We've got a sink here that runs on a water pump. Just wet my arm. 
every time the water goes down the sinkhole it collects into a separate tank so we're not just like dumping waste water all over the place it collects all together and then we find somewhere suitable to open the pipe and then we can dispose of the grey water somewhere else you don't get food scraps in there because it's collected in a filter any food scraps get collected in this little thing here and then we just dump that in a compost section or basically anywhere where we can find that allows you to dispose of organic waste which has been a trouble here doing the camper van thing in japan getting rid of your waste is actually quite hard if you don't go to campsites none of the bins are really set up for throwing stuff away you really do have to separate your trash here properly otherwise you'll never fit it through the bin holes final toilet stops and then we are going to start driving we've got three and a half hours drive today and then time for a shower at a coin laundry place I like to make sure all of the curtains are open when i drive so i can see out the back it's got lots of light in here so it's pretty good for driving even though it's a fairly decent sized van we've left the michino eki now and you won't believe this but this is the queue of traffic waiting to get in that chestnut rice is popular. We actually bought one. Am I going to try it out for our lunch later? We're going to share one. You can see why these Michino Ekis or roadside stations are popular because they are very nice inside. There's lots of different food items and souvenirs that are local to the area. Story got her stamp in her book, which was two chestnuts. Chestnuts, yes. Yeah. So this is a popular area for chestnuts and also owls apparently. They had a whole stand up about tawny owls and hawk owls that live around this area. Lots of fresh produce and it was a very popular little place. We are now back on the road, heading to our next destination. We're just making a very quick pit stop to get some more water. Jay's just gone in to use the bathroom. But look what I found in there. Hagen does soy chocolate ice cream. Yummy. This is going to be our little snack. I also picked up some popcorn. Story's favourite, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We still have quite a drive to do today, um, but it is almost lunchtime, so we're just getting a little bit peckish. So, popcorn and ice cream is our snack right now and we also got some cold coffee jay and i are going to share this is a big one it's like 500 ml we've got snacks we've used the bathroom and now we can head on we've got more stuff lip balm oh lip balm yeah. yay Plaster. story fell down last night yeah <laughs> You got a grazed knee last night, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Your last injury is a six year old. I've also got a story something I know she's going to love. Oh, what? Hasho Brown. Oh, they didn't have them in there. They must have literally just put them in. It's really hot, so maybe. I looked, they've only had chicken. <laughs> Mummy brings the ice cream, Daddy brings the hash browns. <laughs> Time to do some laundry and to have a shower. 
I'm not gonna lie and say this is how we've been having all our showers because they are few and far between. Have you found the shower cubicle yet? I haven't found the shower yet, I found the laundry. Okay. And that works. Yep. This is a straight to all in one wash and dry, so you don't have to take it out, it just goes straight into the drying. Okay. It's 900 yen and it takes 65 minutes to do a wash and a dry. That's alright, it's doable. So up to 8 kilos, so I think that should be enough. Yeah, I think this bag is probably less than 8 kilos. Yeah. Still, has got her trolley already. <laughs> <laughs> um, possibly the shower's upstairs, but it doesn't say. It Let's have a look. Like this is for doing shoes. It's a coin sneaker laundry, a coin shoe laundry. So inside the coin laundry is a coin sneaker laundry, a coin shoe laundry basically. I need to wash mine because they're a standard. Right, the showers are around the corner. Let's have a look. Okay, let's have a look. Thank you. <laughs> oh, the showers. Well, here. Look. Hot showers. They've got like an onsen symbol. 24 hours, 300 yen for eight minutes. This is what they look like. Oh, the lights come on automatically. Looks pretty clean, doesn't it? Yeah. Look here, it says eight minutes hot water comes out to add 300 yen. Okay, not so bad. We're gonna have, we're gonna have a shower for eight minutes. Yeah, we need to, don't we? It's been a while. So now it has its own shampoo. Is it? Could be body soap, but I don't know. Well, that's good because we've got shampoo and conditioner, but we don't have body box. soap. Oh, I see. I don't want to use somebody else's stuff though. And up there, there's a timer with remaining minutes on it. Just use the toilet, and this is one of the smartest economical systems I've ever seen. Look, as the toilet refills itself when you flush, you wash your hands there on the top. I've seen this in two Japanese toilets so far. And look at this, you know, heat, it's a bit dirty down there, but heated seat, bum wash, everything. Typical Japanese power. It's very clever, I'm very impressed. Right, let's go and hit the showers and see what that's all about. I'm impressed. It has a heated floor. The floor is heated in the shower. You get a hair dryer. Yeah. It's That's, amazing. It's pretty cool. And they've got English language written here in case you don't have Google Translate. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do this. It's time to get dinner. We're trying out Moss Burger, which is a Japanese fast food chain. We've got more laundry on the dry and I've heard that they've got a plant-based burger here, so we've ordered that. Sasha and Story already inside. It's very quiet in here. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Is that onion, onion string? <laughs> onion string hanging out of your mouth. Oh no, <laughs> I feel fresh out. How's the food quality? Well, I've only had the fries so far, and so far, amazing. Good, yeah, the burger looks good. Can you see this sticker? Yeah, plant based screen burger. Let me give you this a bit of sauce. I still don't know what the drink was, but she didn't know. Iced oolong tea. Mm. It's hot Check this out. It's really good, isn't it? How are you open sauce? I've already done it. But the sauce is in here, <laughs> here, and you're meant to squeeze it like this. They both come out at once. Yeah, it's clever, isn't so it? So cool. Rather than just trying to open it and then it comes out. Well, that was a success. I enjoyed that. Let's go pick up the rest of the laundry and head to our destination. Did you enjoy the dinner? Yeah. Nice. All right. We found Look. somewhere to park for the night. Sorry, just spotted something funny. <laughs> There's a flipping TV here. <laughs> Why on earth? It, it's I think. Real it's, on it. I think no, someone, someone just left. just left it there. Yeah, someone didn't want their TV. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just right. put it in the dump? Or we'll donate it! Maybe there wasn't a dump. It's hard to throw away your trash in Japan, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we've found this. Yes, it is a problem. So maybe someone just went, this is the answer. Somebody can it take it. people laugh. <laughs> this is how we've been managing sleeping situations. We find a public toilet with a car park. And normally it's safe to park here. 
and the public toilets are insane. I know we've talked about this a lot, but I mean, look at that. Lights come on automatically. Yeah. We've got a squat toilet here. Squatter. And then there's a sitter. Western <laughs> style, I think Western. needs to go. Okay. She's looking tired as well. Just outside the toilets, they've got this drinking fountain here. Daddy can use it for the bucket. Yes, I can, can't I? <laughs> I'm going to use it. Um, I don't know, I don't know, you might get sick. Just, I don't know if it's safe to drink. Okay. <laughs> Not before your birthday, which is tomorrow. Look at this. Good water pressure on that. I can fill up the van. You can just, like, fill up the bucket and put it in the van for our sink washing. Yeah, brushing our teeth and stuff. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, just don't drink it. the moment I saw the pictures in Hot Hotels magazine, said the Queen. We've all brushed our teeth. Story's been having a nice book read to her. We love reading to her every night. We bought quite a big book so she can like follow the story. And now it's time for me to get some water for the van because the tank is almost empty. It runs out pretty much once a day. It's a little bit of a routine, but once I find a good tap, then I'm used to it now. Some other things we have to make sure we do every night is turn down the power of the fridge so it doesn't kill the battery before the morning. And that's pretty much it. There's a few other things, but I just can't remember off the top of my head right now. We have to wrap Story's birthday presents tonight as well, so she can be ready for a full day of birthday fun tomorrow. So I think I'm going to round up this video now. And the shout out for today goes to Lineka S. Huge thank you to Lineka for becoming a member of our channel. We really appreciate it. If you want to become a member yourself, hit the join button below the videos. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.